Hi everyone. I just came on here to tell you I had a word in my spirit yesterday. It was Mendocino, California. And um, I, that's all I heard. So I don't know what it means. I don't know if it means earthquake or some um, volcano or something. I know there have been swarms there. Uh, so just file it. You know, be careful if you're in that area. Um, that's it. If I get any more, I'll let you know. <laughs>not just um, there in Sonoma County, it's up in Mendocino County to the north as well. A fast moving wildfire forcing mandatory evacuations, also destroying dozens of homes. The Redwood Complex fire has now consumed 21,000 acres. It's killed at least three people. And cell service is out in much of the area and people have been cut off. One of the hardest hit areas is the town of Redwood Valley. KPI X5 Susie Steimel is the only television reporter in that community to show us what is going on. She's with us live. Susie, devastation we, we saw in Sonoma County, Mendocino County. It looks similar. And a lot of people up here in Mendocino County can feel as though they've been forgotten because they're not able to communicate with people. So not as many people know that it's happening here as well. And today we learned because their communication is so limited up here, if an evacuation order is put in place, police would have to go door to door to alert people because that's the only way they know that they could communicate with people. And residents are worried they could end up trapped. 50 homes, 40 structures, three lives, all taken by wildfire in Mendocino County. This disaster isn't garnering as much attention as the Sonoma and Napa County fires have because remote Mendocino is now completely off the grid. So yeah, a lot of people are kind of cut off with what's going on and they're all scared and you know, so it's, it's not good. Wildfire took out the main cell tower for this area, leaving people without the ability to even dial 911. Desperate for information, they packed into the community library to listen and demand some answers from authorities. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Could everybody just be quiet? Right now, we're just pretty much cut from communications. Greg Federoff's family had to evacuate their home in Redwood Valley. That's the hardest hit area by this 21,000 acre fire that's still 0% contained. The flames were cresting on the on the ridge and they could see the flames. And then they evacuated Pine Mountain, which is where a lot of people that live in Willits reside. ATMs don't work, gas is running low, water in stores is scarce, and people here are growing anxious. Very confusing, almost apocalyptic like. Do you feel safe? Mm, at the moment, no. It's also easy looking at home after home like this that's been reduced to rubble to not exactly see the personal items left behind. But here you can pick some out. There's what's left of a bathtub. A little bit further forward, we can see what was once a computer modem. And in the corner of what was this home, some bindings that look like they may have gone to a family photo album. And we don't know who lived here. And authorities say it still isn't safe for them to come back. Live in Redwood Valley, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5. This is my neighbor's house with the big it's down the trees. And then this whole side of the block's gone. I hope it stays on that side of the block. Nope. There's my neighbor's house. Last time I passed through here. No fire trucks anywhere. Bob's house. Look at that. Larry Langer's old house. <laughs> 